Hi everyone, it's the Horror Nerd. Thanks for coming to my page. Um, I'm going to do a review on a movie called Cure. Um, let's see. This movie... As long as it's taking me to explain it, is as boring as it was. Um, it's one of those movies that, like, you watch it, and you really want to get into it. And the idea is really, really cool. And you have, like, some really good horror parts. And they're really exciting. And then all of a sudden, you get to the end and you're like, what? Really? That's all? That's all it's about? That, that's, that's everything? Or did I miss something? Maybe I, myself, missed something. I, I don't know. But um, from what I watched, I couldn't believe the ending. And it wasn't like an oh my god ending. It was just, that was it. Okay, so anyways, so now that we've gone to my babble gabble about everything, um, it's called The Cure. Oh, it's, is it called The Cure? Wait a second. It was called The Cure. Okay, so it's called The Cure. And in Chinese, it's called Cure. Or Japanese. Wait, hold on. Let me make sure. Yeah, it's Japanese. Okay. So it was made in 1997. So not a lot of people know about it because it was made in 1997. And it's just one of those little movies that you just, I think it's probably from an independent um, people and um, independent, I can't think of how to say it, independent um, movie people. You know, you know what I mean. Okay. Anywho, I'm sorry. Um, it's basically about the whole bunch of murders that happened and um in these murders uh the person whoever murders the person has an x on their chest and you know it's a bloody mess and some crazy murders happen and then you kind of learn that um it ends up being this guy that hypnotizes them and makes them kill people for why the movie does not tell you it just tells you that there was a tape that had um, a hypnotist, like the original hypnotist, um, and he drew an X in the air, and that's pretty much it. And um, that was pretty much the movie. I was actually really um, excited about the movie because I've, I'm on this website called Letterbox. I go on to it because it has this reviewer who reviews Asian movies, and I'm like going to an Asian fest right now, so. I was like, okay, I'm going to watch this because it's on the list, and I'm really, really excited about it. But I just got to tell you, it's, it's not good, and don't, don't watch it, don't watch it, don't watch it. Okay, the director um, is Kyosho Kusawa. Kyosho Kusawa. I don't speak Japanese. I had a whole bunch of reviewers um, review my page and told me that I'm an amateur and that my reviews suck. Um, well, that's nice. Good for you. First of all, I'm not a professional. I I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm a stay-at-home mom. My kid's right behind me watching iTunes or watching YouTube. Um, and, you know, I'm just doing this for fun for the heck of it, and so fuck you, basically. Um, how am I supposed to know how to speak Japanese? They're like, she doesn't even know how to pronounce things right. And I'm just like, I don't speak Japanese. How do I pronounce things right? I don't know. I'm not Japanese. So, you know, and I'm, I suck at language. I mean, I'm serious. I can't even learn Spanish, and I live in California, and I can't live Spanish. I can't, I can't even learn Spanish. I was in a bilingual class, and I still can't learn Spanish. So, there. So that's basically what the movie is about. Um, there are some really good gore at the beginning. I liked the killing. You saw blood everywhere. It was cool. Um, there's a part where um, a lady, she, after she gets, a lady gets hypnotized, she ends up, like carving an X on his chest, on this guy's chest, and then peeling his entire face over from his from the neck up, and then he just she just peels it. That part was pretty cool, but other than that, it got nothing for it, and I was really disappointed. And I don't I don't know if there was any hype about this movie or anything, but um, I was disappointed, and I thought that sucked. Um, well, I, j I don't know what else to say. It just it wasn't it wasn't good. It just. Yeah. It was kind of sucky. Um, the actor, though, I have to say I really like the actors. Koji Yokosho, K 
<laughs> um, and then Masato Hagwawe, Hagwawara. <laughs> just, just don't mind me. So that's that's um, the two actors that I really, really liked out of the movie, and they played the acting perfectly, and the, the acting was just absolutely perfect. But the movie sucked. It just, it, it gave you a lot of hype, and you were, like, really, really excited, and then all of a sudden, like, you were let down, because, like, at the ending, it was, like, he goes to a restaurant, he has some food, and then he turns around, and the titles of all the names come up. <laughs> That's it. Okay, so I hope you guys liked my review. Remember, it's called The Cure from 1997. It was made in Japan. If you want to check it out, it's, um, boring. It took me four days to watch it. I didn't even want to stay up to watch it because I've been really tired since my kids have been waking up at 6.30 in the morning. Heh. <laughs> um, that's early for me. He wakes up at 8 usually. And, of course, when my husband was home, he woke up at 8. So, it took me four days. Did I say four or three? I don't know. But it took me that many days just to finish it, so it wasn't that good. Okay, so I hope you guys liked my review, and I'll be reviewing, um, I believe I'll be reviewing I Spit on Your Grave, the new one, and I Spit on Your Grave 2, the new one. Um, I personally like the 1970s version, but everybody told me I should watch it, so I'm going to watch it. All right, thank you for actually watching my review and hope you like my page. Oh, I have a new page on Facebook. Um, it's called, it's www.facebook.com slash the Hornard. It's in my new page for all my updates and all my reviews. And don't forget, I'm on Horophilia as the Hornard. Thank you. Bye.